Hey guys, Miss Miller's here, and we are going to be doing an art page today uh, with our Garden uh, Friends fingerprint book. And um, today we are going to do the praying mantis. And this is what a praying mantis looks like. And they are praying because his way his hands, way he or she is holding their, they have their hands always kind of together or down, and it looks like they're praying. So that's part of why they have that name. But yeah, just wanted to show you that. Put this back up right here. Yeah, I've got my um, my earthworms and my front page right there. Who's this? Who's that? Mr. Owl. What does Mr. Owl say? Ooh, ooh. Mr. Owl helps us learn. Okay, so this is your page. And I'm going to be using brown paint and black paint. And I'm not going to do, the only thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to trace his wings. But what's the first thing we need to do? Anyone tell me what is the first thing we do with our paper? We write our name on it. There you go, there's my name. So that same pencil, I'm going to trace connecting the lines of his wings. And in the book, I know it's green, the one that the praying mantis I showed you um, behind me is green, but the book that I, my teacher's book, is showing that they can just use the brown paint and you can color in the tree and the rest of the praying mantis with a crayon and just use the fingertips to do it into the wings. So I'm gonna do what the book has done so then I'm going to get my brown crayon out. You can do it any way you want to. It's part of the fun of art. You know? All right, so it has said to, this is the tree. That's the egg case. That's the egg case we talked about from our listening story. So the praying mantises, May lay a bunch of eggs into their egg case, and that's where their babies grow. The insect does not carry the babies. She doesn't have a tummy that grows babies. It's not like mammals, so they lay eggs and they leave. Sometimes they hang around, but they don't hang around for long. So I'm just going to get started coloring. Our tree branch. The tree branches are brown. Okay, and then it has coloring the rest of the body brown. So I'm just going to do exactly what the book said to do. If you want to make yours green, you can make it green. I don't really see a lot of praying mantises, but I sure, when I do find one, I like to watch it a little bit. I just think they're so interesting. You know, there's no other bug, insect, that it looks like. And an uh, interesting fact about the praying mantises is that the girl praying mantis is the bigger one. So if you see a big, praying mantis, she is a female. And the little ones are the males. So that's a good way to, to, stop, to figure out whether or not you're looking at a boy one or a girl one. I mean, if it's a, if it's a big praying mantis, you know, the size or even bigger than the crayon, it's gonna be a girl. But if it's a little praying mantis, it's a boy. All right, so now I'm gonna use my finger. First, for the brown, so I'm going to use the brown paint here. And I'm going to use my finger, and we're going to fingerprint brown in 
the wings. Trying to fill in that line we traced. If you don't have paint, just color it. Or you can find ways to make your own kind of paint. There's lots of stuff on Pinterest. Okay, I think I'm about done with those wings. Now I'm going to use another finger and you're going to take, you're going to make dots of what looks like the eggs inside of here. Okay, you're not going to take it and you're not going to fill it in. That's not the, that's not the directions. You're going to make dots that look like black eggs inside. I'm going to show you. See? And there's my eggs. All done. Pretty cool. All right. So I'm just wiping my fingers off on my napkin, and we are finished with the praying mantis. All right, again, make sure to keep them. I'm drawing mine and hanging them behind me because I, I want my own book, so I'm, I'm keeping up with them. All right, I'll see you tomorrow, and we are doing the ladybug. All right, thanks. Bye.